I'm going to show you how you can weld anything to your character in Roblox. So first you want to get a dummy, so go to the avatar menu at the top and click Rig Builder. I'm going to use an R15 dummy, but you can use any sort of dummy you want. I'm going to call this dummy a reference dummy. Okay, now you want to get the object you want to weld to your character. So I'm going to get a random sword. Let's see, I'll just take this one. If you get a tool, remove everything inside of the tool. Like clone it and remove everything inside of it and then just take the handle out. And then delete the tool. So I'm going to call the handle sword since it's a sword. Okay, now once you have the part you want, you're going to place it how you want to place it when it welds to your character. So what I'm going to do, I want mine to weld to my back like one of the great swords. So I'm gonna place it like this and kind of rotate it like this. And yeah, that looks good. So once you have once you have the spot you want it to be on, you're gonna to wanna to insert an object value inside of the welded part. Call it weld part. So you wanna set the value to the part it's going to weld to. So I'm, it looks like my sword is going to be welded to my back and it looks like it's going to be on my upper torso. So I'm going to weld it to the upper torso of this dummy. So I'm going to set it to the upper torso. And then parent the sword to the reference dummy and then that's it for the reference dummy. Just place that in the server storage. So once you have that, you're going to insert a script into server script service and we're going to need two services. We're going to need the player service and we're also going to need the server storage since our reference dummy is in server storage. Okay so we're also going to need the reference dummy We're gonna need a function to weld it. So this function is gonna take in three parameters. It's gonna take part A, which is a base part, part B, which is another base part, and the offset C frame. So what this weld function will do is it'll take part A C frame and set it at an offset C frame relative to part B and then it's going to create a weld constraint and weld those two together. So part A C frame is going to be part B C frame but it's going to be offset at the offset C frame. And then we're going to create a weld constraint And we're gonna set part zero to part A, part one to part B, and then parent it to part A. Is the part A. And that's that for the weld function. So, we want this to happen every time a character spawns in, so we're going to need the player added. And then get their character added func uh, event. We want to get the part that we want to weld. So, and we want to clone it. So we want to get the, uh, the new uh, new weld is going to be reference dummy dot sword. And now we're going to clone it. Once we have the clone, we also want the weld part it's going to be welded to, which is 
gonna be the inside of the character and we're gonna wait for child because we don't know if the character is fully loaded yet so we're gonna wait for the new weld and we're gonna get that weld part object value and we're gonna take the name of that part so new weld dot weld part dot value dot name so this will get the character's upper torso instead of the dummy's upper torso because we want the we want it to weld to our character instead of our dummy. So we're gonna weld that, and get that weld part, and now we want to weld these two parts. So we're gonna weld the new weld to the weld part at some offset C-frame. So this offset C-frame, if we take a look at the reference dummy again. This offset C-frame is going to be the relative offset of the part we want to weld, so the sword and the upper torso since we're welding it to the upper torso. So the way we want to get this offset is we want to take the offset or we're going to want to take the inverse C-frame of the upper torso and multiply it by our new sword C-frame. So we're going to say new weld we want to get the upper torso of the dummy, not the upper torso of the character. So new weld dot weld part dot value dot C frame inverse. And we're going to multiply that by the new weld C frame. So that's going to be our offset C frame. We don't want to get the weld parts C frame because that's not the correct at the correct offset that we want it to be. So we're going to take the actual reference dummies upper torso C frame. And we're going to take the offset of the new weld C-frame from that. So we can have this weld here. And then we're going to parent the new weld to our character. So now we have the main functionality of it. But we want to take this into functions. So we want on character added. And we're going to put this function into the character added. Now instead of connecting this to an anonymous function, we'll just reference the actual function on character added. And there's that. But now we want to make sure that every player actually has this connection. So for each player that's already in the game. We're gonna want to say player dot character added, and we're gonna connect it to on character added, and then after that, we want to check if they have a character. So if player dot character, then we're gonna weld it on them. So on character added player dot character. So now everything should be set up and once we hit play, I don't think my reference dummy is in the server storage so it'll error, yeah. So I'm gonna remove, I'm gonna put that back into the server storage and everything should be good. Yep, now it's a part of my character and it's welded to the exact spot that I placed it. So yeah, that's how you weld anything to your character. You can do this for any sort of object. You can place it on any sort of part of your body and it'll work fine. Just make sure you use the inverse C-frame of the actual dummy model, not your character model. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.